Hey everybody, it's Scott Steen with winnersandwiners.com coming to you from the Lending Tree Studio on the expansive first floor of the Winners and Winers Sports and Entertainment Complex to bring you today's deep three. As always, please, would you be so kind to like, to subscribe, to do all that good stuff if you're digging what we're doing. Maybe you made a uh, maybe you made a couple bucks yesterday on our picks. We'd appreciate the old thumbs up and give us the subscribe if you haven't done so already, of course. And we want to know what you're playing. Let us know in the comments section. Give us your best. Give us your best five picks. We'll get those graded out. You get them right, we'll give you the shout out. Get enough of them right, you will be our capper of the day, and we will be crowning our first capper of the day of the year today. So stay tuned for that as we find out uh, who among you has got the chops, got those capping chops. And of course, um, don't forget to check out winnersandwiners.com, statsalt.com. Every game, every day, always free. What could be better, man? Especially if you're going back. Multiple sports, doing basketball, football. Of course, not a lot of football left. Just down to some biggies now. Maybe you got a little hockey. Maybe you got a little uh, NBA. Whatever it is, get your butt over there to Stat Salt and Winners and Winers and check it out because they've got deep dives into all of those games. I eat, I eat. So, taking a look at our uh, at our day yesterday. How'd we do? Well, we did pretty damn good. Not too shabby at all. As the uh, we hit the. Uh, do, 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 do. We hit the Miami of Ohio uh, plus 14 points, and then actually went up to uh, 14 and a half or even 15 at some spots by game time. And uh, that one came in for us, not without a little bit of sweat there, but it worked out at the end. And we had the West Virginia OSU under. That one uh, that one came in uh, well under the total. I don't think they got to 100. I just saw the end of that one. And we had OKC plus 7. That ended up being a push. Although by game time, that number was eight. So if you did wait till game time to get down on that one, you might have got yourself a, a sneaky little half point or a full point victory. So, uh, But we'll call it a push. We'll go 2-0-1 on the deep three. And on the premium side, we loaded up on the Miami and the Lafayette under. That cash four is easily. And we also loaded up on the Brooklyn Orlando under as well. And again, that one cashed easily. All of our unders uh, really came in without a whole lot of sweat. A couple things. Uh, you know the Miami uh, Louisiana game could have gone uh, could have gone tits up on us, uh, especially especially if they'd have had that interception there at the end. That could have uh, screwed the pooch on everything. Probably would have st still been okay on the total, but uh, definitely could have put our uh, our side bet in jeopardy. But sorry guys, pass interference, and uh, you can just forget about that interception. So on we go with today. We don't live in the past, no matter what we do. It's always nice to have a solid day, especially. Uh, Running a little chilly, but uh, onward and upward we go with tonight's pick. So, starting off in the college basketball world as the Virginia Cavaliers get together and dance with the Boston College Eagles. Looking at the total of 111 and a half in this. Uh, I like the under. I ain't going to lie to you. You know, we all know about Virginia's defense. They give up just 46.7 points per game, which is about six points better, by the way, than the second best team in the country. Um, so, why aren't they the number one team right now? Well, good question. Maybe it's because they can't score. They are uh, 349th out of 353 teams in scoring this year, putting up just 55.9 points per game. Uh, as you suspect, as you might suspect, the under cashes fairly regularly for the University of Virginia. Uh, it is, uh, and actually, it's a uh, cashes pretty well for Boston College as well. It's nine and four for both of these teams, and it's cashed six of the nine times uh, that BC has played at home. And when Virginia plays on the road, they don't do it a lot so far, but it has cashed in three of their four road contests. Uh, BC, been on a little bit of an underrun lately themselves. It's 8-2 eight and, eight and two over last 10. And uh, it has hit uh, seven of nine times for Virginia when the total is over 110. Well, that's what it is here tonight. A lot of trends point to the under, and I'm going to embrace them. Give me the Boston College Virginia under 111 and a half. And we are going to turn our attention... To uh to a little uh, little blast from the past. I don't know how many of you have been with us for a while. If you're with us early last season in the college basketball season, um, by the way, this is when I got hot last year. This is right at the end of bowl season, um, in the NFL playoffs and the uh, and the uh, uh, NBA and the NCAA as they started conference play. That's when we went. Uh, we ended up going on that run. We went 40, 43 and eight as uh, over about a ten day period. So, um, you know, when we're going to do it again, I don't know. But 4-0-1, uh, not a bad way to start. So anyway, we're going to take a look uh, at a blast from the past as the West, Western Michigan uh, Broncos travel down to Akron, Ohio, to take on the Akron Zips. 
You guys know where I'm headed with this. Uh, it is the Akron first half under. Man, we rode the shit out of this last year. At one point, I think we were I think we were nine and zero, and it kind of faded a little bit. I think we ended up about fourteen and four conference play, thirteen and four somewhere around there with this trend. It's a nice one. Um, this is a uh, uh, this is a Zips team that actually it's, it's even better than they were last year, and they're playing really good defense. But again, they've struggled to score in the first half. And uh, so has Western Michigan, man. They've put up just 29.5 points per game the first half on the road, while the Zips at home, they have been outstanding in the first half, giving up just a shade below 26 points per contest. Uh, they're going to get a few, but I don't think they're going to get enough. Total in this game is 138. I'm projecting the first half total somewhere around 64, 65 was what we're hoping for. So let's uh, let's do it. Let's play the Western Michigan Broncos Akron Zips under um, 64-ish. How about that? And we're going to finish up with a late-night NBA play there from La La Land. New York Knicks and the Los Angeles Lakers. Knicks, 13.5-point road doggy here. You know, after going uh, after going uh, uh, two and four straight up and 0-6 against the spread here lately, uh, late Lakers actually rallied to win and cover two straight, and now they're back to their old ways as they have failed to cover their last three games. Uh, meanwhile, the Knicks have been, well, not terrible in their last 12. They've gone 6-6 six and six straight up. Eight and four against the number. I think 13 and a half is a couple too many points. I really do here. This is a, a, a Lakers team that seems to get bored in the fourth quarter and uh, let bad teams get closer than they should. And I think this is a Knicks squad that may be starting to figure out a couple things. I mean, New York Knickerbockers plus 13 and a half against those Lakers. Give me the Western Michigan Broncos. Akron Zips first half under 64-65. And Start off with play there from uh, the ACC as the Virginia Cavaliers and the Boston College Eagles play under the total of 111.5. The end of those three, you guys can join me. You know the drill. We'll pick up those winning tickets. We will head back to the window. All right, let's take a look at the shout-out, shall we? We'll see uh, see how we do. We had a, you know, a few guys put picks in today. Of course, we're hoping for a much bigger day yesterday, uh, tomorrow as uh, you know we're just getting back in the swing here of the shout-outs. And by the way, I want to give away some shirts. I really do. I'm not giving away enough shirts, so we'll... Uh, We'll figure it out. I had it like for, for cap of the day, four days in a row. And, and uh, we've had some guys get close. I uh, had a, a couple of three-game winning streaks, but uh, haven't been able to do it. So I'll figure out. I'm going to give away some shirts. And uh, Cisco, if you're out there, I know Cisco put in the comments the other day that I still owed him a shirt. Uh, dude, hit me up. Tell me the details of that because I honestly don't remember. But if I do, I will be happy to pay you. I am no shirt welcher, my friend. All right. So today uh, we'll start with the guys that had uh, perfect attendance. A lot of guys riding the... Uh, Riding Lafayette, you know what? I was so tempted. That is such a good offensive squad. We have watched them score a ton of points this year down there in the in the Sun Belt. But there's just something annoying about that Miami team. I just, I don't know. I got tired of betting against them and losing. So, uh, yeah, finished out okay there. So, uh, positive, I mean, our uh, perfect attendance for today, Steve Godon, the astute Aardvark, Chris Flood, John Tango, and Argyle Greer. And uh, guys that out there... Uh, Making that making that money today. Grady Thomas went uh, three and two plus eighty. But guys, we uh, he was uh, uh, we we haven't seen him for a while. He's, he's been uh, commenting here lately and uh, put up a little bit of a salty comment today. I'm not gonna lie, and uh, we kind of got him a little salty comment right back. But we love him. We love that he posted and he had a fine day. Other than gentlemen, it is that's odds. Everybody he went two and one plus ninety on the day. That's odds, my friend. That's a win is what you got right there. You, brother, are the capper of the day. Congratulations. Very well done, guys. Thanks very much for sharing your picks, as always. Uh, make sure you put those in there. Give me as much information as you can. Tell me what odds you got. Anything you can put in there to help a brother out, I always appreciate it. All right? And, of course, I always appreciate you guys watching. We'll do it again tomorrow. And, uh, you know, we'll do what we do. We'll bitch about those bad beats. Brag about our fat stacks like uh, going 4-0. Oh, and I hit a... Uh, my son and I play in a uh, in a gambling fantasy league, and it runs Tuesday through Wednesday as who has the best total at the end of the uh, Monday night. Anyway, so he had me, and I played a uh, I played a three team parlay with the two with the under and uh, in Miami and the under in the Oklahoma State game, and uh, ba boom, cashed him and uh, went to first place. So yeah, it's a good day for me. Well, and I uh, made some uh, made some live bets too, <laughs> and that uh, we pounded we pounded uh, Miami there in the first half. Man, that was a uh, that was the start that I was looking for, and we pounded the under, and we were uh, we cashed out. And yeah, we did okay. So anyway, uh, I'm bragging about my fat stack. Told you I'd do it. Um, and then, you know what? It'll be Wednesday, hump day, basketball day. We'll get in there. We'll pull up in the hood. 
We'll get us a few more plays. We'll fire it up and we'll do it all over again. All right? You guys are the best, man. Thanks for watching. As always, like, subscribe, do your thing. Give me your picks. And I'll see y'all when we head back to the window. All right? Take care, everybody.